Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and we are currently at B S the Seat College, which is Bill's old house. His grandfather and I moved into it. There it is on the map. This is in Canto, by the way. It's north of Cerulean. And basically, you talk to the, his grandfather, and he will ask for a Pokemon. Um, he's asking for one with a long tongue, that is Lickitung. And for that, you will get a Everstone, which is completely useless. You could trash that. We never got our Everstone from the professor for hatching the Togepi, but that's useless. And then you want to exit and then re-enter the house, and he will ask for a new Pokemon, a green Pokemon with leaves on its head. Well, this Pokemon isn't green, it's more of a purplish, bluish, blackish. Uh, that's three colors right there. That All of them not green, but you show it to him and you will get a Leaf Stone. Basically, you can, this guy will give you all types of stones depending on what Pokemon you show him. A uh, C Pokemon with a red sphere, shaped like a star. And he's talking about Staryu there. You may notice that I already have all the Pokemon that you need in my party. Plus Crobat for flying. So, for that he will give you a Water Stone. And next up he will either ask for... Um, something else, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay. Very loyal to its trainer, it's supposed to roar well. Uh, that's not much of a hint, although he is talking about Growlithe. I'm pretty sure in Silver he'll be talking about Vulpix instead, and you'll have to show him about Vulpix since Growlithe is crystal and gold only, not silver. While Vulpix is silver only. We have yet to catch Vulpix, I believe. Or we caught it. Anyways, he's talking about Pikachu here, but he wants the version of it before it evolves, so we have Pichu. Yes, this is Pichu, and he will give you the Thunderstone. Well, a Thunderstone. So we now have one of each type of evolutionary stone in the game. And we're going to put those to use. As now shown. For some reason, we are at the Elite Four place. But whatever. First, we're going to toss the Everstone, because that is useless. And we're just going to put stones to use. And these are the Pokemon that we're going to evolve, by the way. So, spoiler alert. Um, give Weepin Bell the... Uh, Leaf Stone, and it will evolve into Victory Bell, and Victory Bell spawns a lot of memories from the anime, where it always ate James's head, and they tried to do that with Carnivine, although it wasn't all too great and stuff like that. They always had the running gags in the old uh, Pokemon anime, not so much in this one. Although I'm pretty sure in the new anime, Unova, they brought in uh, Sunglasses Crocorock or Black Glasses Crocorock or something like that. I don't know. Give Staryu a Water Stone and it will evolve into Starmu, which is an, an excellent special sweeper. And you give Growlithe a Fire Stone and you will get Arcanine, which is basically a giant bigger dog than Growlithe is, and it's on fire, sort of, not really. And it would make a pretty cool ghost Pokemon, apparently, according to... W w whatever. I saw some of those. Those are pretty cool, actually. And finally, give Pikachu the Thunderstone, and it will evolve into an even bigger mouse with a different shaped tail. And look at his Tame. So big. And we will never see these Pokemon again. So, that was interesting while he lasted. Uh, we are now in the Slowpoke Well, close to Violet City, I believe. I don't know, it's been so long I've forgotten. But this is the Slowpoke Well. You can look it up if you don't know where it is. But we're going to go a different route, and it's not here. This is absolutely nothing, other than getting some stronger Pokemon, other than level 5 Slowpoke. See, remember these guys? Yeah, level 6, not much, but we still need to catch a second Slowpoke to evolve it. We really don't need to attack it, though. It's level 6, and Ultra Ball will catch it uh, in 1, 2, 3, which is how many times the ball must shake. But hooray. Um, while we're doing this, I've decided on the six Pokemon that I'm going to be using for the tournament coming up. I just gotta figure out their final move sets and get the items for them and EV train four of them and evolve one of them that I've already EV trained because it doesn't evolve until a very long time. That's all I'll say. And that's basically all that that's been doing. Once I get this done, I'm going to start that up again because I have near to no homework actually and I want to take a nice long break before I do it because I. And starting to get a bit of a headache, I guess. Uh, ow, it's right behind my left eye. That's fantastic. 
Anyways, over here, in this new area that we couldn't access because we couldn't surf, we will find a special item which we could use to evolve that slowpoke that we just got, but of course, first we must get into a battle. Now, I used to think that slowpoke's evolution tree was just a straightaway, but no it is not, it is actually, um, a split evolution between slowpoke and splitting into two different ones. I thought slowbro evolved into slowking, no it doesn't, so, there we go. That's annoying, so now I have to catch a second slowpoke, which I did. Either way, you made a new discovery, a King's Rock, okay? And he will give you the King's Rock, which you can give to Slowpoke to hold, and it will evolve. Or you could also give that King's Rock to Poliwhirl, and it trade it, and then it will evolve into Politoed, one of my favorite Pokemon in the game. Too bad we got it so late. You could also use Thief to get a King's Rock from either Slowpoke or, uh, or, no, it might be Slowbro, or Polyto- Polywag? Or Polyrath, I mean? Yeah, Slowbro, or Polyrath? Po or Poliwhirl. So that's where you can get a second Kingstone, King's Rock, to evolve both of them, and we will be evolving both of them. Uh, you could fight Poliwhirl it, at night, at the final route before Mount Silver, I know that, that's where... I'm going to get my second King's Rock. Although I won't really show it, because, you know, whatever. Either way, which one did we evolve first with our lovely King's Rock? You may make the foe flinch, so no matter what attack you use, it will flinch. And there we go, we could now trade Slowpoke with the King's Rock to get a level 6 Slow King. And he's pretty cool-ish, I guess, not really. Eh, he's okay. And we could also give the King's Rock that we got from a Poliwhirl. We stole it from Poliwhirl at Route 40 or so. And we could give it to Poliwhirl in order to trade it. And it will evolve into Politoed. Now, look at this guy. He's a frog. He's awesome. A giant green frog. I like frogs. I had a Seismitoad in Pokemon White. Uh, next up, here we are in Pokemon White. Uh, catching what I believe to be the very last Pokemon that we can catch normally. All, all the others are either legendary, or they have, um, or they are of evolution Pokemon. But we are going into Silver Cave briefly just to catch this last Pokemon. I believe is currently nighttime. Might not be, I really don't know. We're also going to catch or grab some items. And this place isn't all that long. Like I said earlier, the required caves really aren't that long. It's the optional ones that are really long, which is weird. And we must run into a battle every five seconds. Now that I say something, we will now go 20 minutes without a battle. Oh, how I wish. But whatever. I have run out of things to say. Uh, there's an item down here, which is a Max Elixir, so I really don't re recommend picking it up. I don't really find the ethers and whatnot very useful in the Pokemon games. Like, if I really need to, I'll switch to a different Pokemon, or just go to the nearby Pokemon Center. The only time that I really run out of Pokepoints is when I'm grinding. And by then, I usually pick a location that's relatively close to the whole the Pokemon Center, so I could just run over there, or if necessary, fly. But yeah, here we are, and at Milt Silver, during the night, in this room only, we can find Mischievous. Uh, Mischievous is not affected by False Wipe, and it will be killed in one hit by everything else. So we are hitting it with Toxic, so it will take slow poison damage until we can eventually catch it in an Ultra Ball. Uh, this is basically the last moveset change that we're going to make, teaching Scizor Toxic. And, oh man. That's basically, this is basically the same set team that we're going to use. Also, all my Pokemon are level 73 or so. I think for Alligator might be level 75, although I have yet to check. I just know that they were in the mid-70s by the end. And we are nearing the end, we only have, after this we have like three parts. Yeah, three parts, so I'm just gonna spoil that now. The finale is in three parts, and it will be a long one, too. My longest video to date. 
and probably for a while because I want to stay around the 15 minute mark. But anyways, Audacity is lagging out and that is making me worry and as soon as I say something about it, it is working fine now. Awesome. Uh, toxic will give progressively worse poison damage. It'll start at an 8th or a 16th like it usually does, but then it will increase. I think it starts at a 16th and it, it will increase to an 8th and then a 4th and then half and then a full bar or something like that. And once in 8 turns or so, no matter what you do, your Pokemon will faint. So it is a favorite among competitive battling. Uh, you may be wondering what I'm, why I'm talking about competitive battling so much. Well, that's because I am setting that up. And one of my Pokemon is a toxic user. Although probably not one that you would expect. Well, I don't know what you would expect. I just know that I have it set. Either way, in Pokemon Silver, on Route 36, we can find a Vulpix, which we mentioned earlier. Uh, Vulpix evolves by the Firestone, which we have yet to get another one from that schoolboy. I think his name was Alan. Oh, I don't remember my own friend's names, although I wouldn't call them a friend. They just give me free stuff. So, it's like, they're like Santa Claus. And we can just start throwing Great Balls at it to catch it, hopefully. And that is one of the last Pokemon that we have to catch in Pokemon Silver, I think. Uh, we still have to catch one or two more Pokemon in Pokemon Gold, though. So, but until then, we have Vulpix now, and I believe Vulpix was the last uh, Pokemon on the first page of my checklist. I did have a checklist for this, and Vulpix is probably the last one. Either way, here's the Vulpix now traded over from Silver. Yeah, there's its stats and whatnot. Now we need to go get a Fire Stone. Now, oh, wait, we got a Leaf Stone instead. So, there we go. A uh, way to grind for stones is to have all these people that you need on your calling list, and then qu and then continuously change the time of the day uh, with your mom from daylight savings time to not daylight savings time over and over again. And they will keep on calling you, and eventually they'll give you a stone. So that's how it got so many stones so quickly. And Execute evolves when you use the leaf stone on it, and here's Executor. It's a giant palm tree with three heads and feet. The creativity just shot up quite a bit in this. Oh well. Now we got another water stone, and I think we still need one more. Quite a few Pokemon evolved by the water stone, but that's because there's quite a few water Pokemon in this game. So which one are we using the water stone on this time? Let's find out. Shelter, okay. So when you give Shelter the water stone, it will evolve into Cloyster, a pretty good defensive Pokemon. Uh, not much else though, and it's annoying because it knows Protect. That's all I know about Cloyster. I really don't like Cloyster. Uh, we still have like a minute or so in this video, so... Oh, hi, Alan. And we get a Firestone from Alan, and we can use that on our newly caught Vulpix. So, this episode is nothing but Pokedex completion again. Although I guess we kind of did go through a little bit of Mount Silver. So, yeah, again, I, this was going to happen. I warned you guys. Um, however, in the next part or the part after that, one of the two, we will be going into Mount Mortar. So that'll be somewhat fun. And hooray, we have a Ninetales. Ninetales is pretty cool. But until then, I will see you next time.